Hello, welcome back uh, to uh, Red Hat Dan on Tech. Um, last week uh, we did a presentation. I talked about Red Hat AI, in my opinion, of the way uh, Red Hat is developing AI solutions for our customers. Um, and now, over the next few weeks, I plan on digging deeper into um, different parts of that. So, one of the things I mentioned in last week's talk was that uh, one of the first things we want to introduce customers to is, you know, Podman Desktop uh, AI. And tooling and so Podman Desktop has been developed um, over the last three years to um, you re really be a gateway tool to allow people to get into containers on Macs and Windows. And um, I'm thrilled to uh, welcome uh, Stephen Lemera, who is the uh, uh, chief architect, chief uh, product person on uh, Podman Desktop. And now, uh, welcome, Stefan. Hello, hi. Um, Thanks for so having me. Yeah, it's great to have you. Um, and so what we want to talk about is, you know, a little bit about Podman Desktop and then dig deep into how Podman Desktop can be a tool to allow users to explore and understand uh, how to basically, you know, develop applications that could use AI. Yeah, sure. Thanks, uh, thanks, Dan. So I'm probably uh, going to, to, to show a demo instead of uh, just showing slides and speaking about it. It's probably going to be a little bit better. So let me just share my, my screen. So Podman Desktop is really a tool that runs uh, on the Mac, on Windows, and on Linux that helps you to work with containers as a developer. So you can see your, uh, your different containers, you can access the logs, you can get terminals inside of your containers. So all of this is made pretty uh, easily inside of, uh, of Podman Desktop. And you can also easily work with, uh, with Kubernetes. So today, Podman Desktop is considered as uh, the best free and open source solution to work with containers um, and also to work with uh, with Kubernetes because... Uh, You're saying free, like I don't actually have to pay any money to use this tool? No, and it's fully, it's fully open source as well. So everybody is, uh, is really welcome to join the, the party and to help and contribute to the tool uh, as well. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, so when I uh, when I land on uh, on Podman des desktop, I have uh, this um, this dashboard screen that shows me uh, a little bit of uh, information about my environments. I have a learning center where I can discover some use cases with containers and with Kubernetes as well. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> we also have a, a catalog of uh, of extensions. So from here, you can find a lot of different extensions to work with different technologies. You can work with uh, Minikube if you want. But today, we are interested by AI Lab. Uh, it's, a new, it's a new extension for, um, for, uh, for Podman Desktop, which is uh, uh, really enabling you to work with large language model on your local environment. It's providing a bunch of different uh, features that will help you as a developer to more easily work with the LLM. Not only working with LLM, but also discovering what you can really do with LLM and how you can start infusing your own application with uh, models as well. So we have a recipe catalog uh, where you can see uh, sample applications, which basically will give you context about uh, a couple of uh, things that you can do uh, with uh, with models. So here we have a sample for a chat, a chatbot, for example. So it will start uh, a chat application. So if I click here and it continue, it will start, it will check out the sample and it will bootstrap the application locally. It will uh, also use a model that I have downloaded uh, on my local environment, and it will connect the application to, to the model. So we have, we have various recipes, chatbot, we have summarizer, object datation, and we will have more in the, in the future as well. So here I have the text summarizer. If I 
uh, if I open it, I just have to click here and, and I will be able to see uh, the sample application. And if I want to, to, to use it, I can just take a sample claim and it will summarize um, uh, uh, an insurance claim that I have been uh, giving to the application. So I can see how the model is going to behave, but more importantly, as a developer, I can also uh, open the source code directly inside of VS Code. And uh, I can explore how this application has been made. So here, this sample is a Python uh, application, which is using Chain and uh, OpenAI uh, APIs. Um, and I can see how to connect to the model endpoint. I can see how to check uh, the model availability and how to split the text that we are providing to the summarizer application and to the model uh, and uh, all those, uh, those different things. So that's really a, a good way for getting started to explore how you can use the model and see how you can also start to infuse your your own uh, applications. So this 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 model that you're developing here, this is all running locally on your Mac um, inside of a Podman machine, uh, inside of a VM, inside of containers, correct? Yeah, exactly. So uh, what we do when we uh, when we start a, a recipe is that we start a pod, um, uh, which is. Uh, uh, here and inside of this pod, I have multiple containers, and one of the containers is uh, is actually doing the model selling. So it's really doing the inferencing for the model and giving me APIs that I can connect to for my application. Because it's a recipe, and we know that at some point you may want to test this onto a Kubernetes environment, we package the recipes. As a pod, so uh, you can uh, you can easily deploy that to uh, to to Kubernetes, and you have the Kubernetes manifest uh, for which is available uh, for you uh, as well. So and I can run I can run with Podman. I can run the Kubernetes YAML file, or I can actually use Kubernetes to run it. I can run it yeah. locally with Podman and inside of a Kubernetes cluster. Mm, absolutely, the if you if you if you want to go one step further, the next natural uh, step will be to actually start your own inference server and start building your own application. So you can actually uh, start a new model service by going into the the, the UI, and uh, you will have the ability to choose a model from uh, from the catalog. So those are the ones that I have uh, I have downloaded. And you will be able to create the inference server. So it's, okay. it's going so to... I build my so when I have an inference server, I build my application and it's going to talk to the model through the inferencing server. So inferencing is basically sharing of of yeah. model, basically a communication path to for allow an application to talk to a model. Yeah, exactly. In fact, once I have my uh, inference uh, server, I have the endpoint which is given to me uh, here in the UI. And uh, and on this endpoint, I have APIs. So those APIs they are uh, compatible with uh, OpenAI APIs. So I have the chat completion API, for example. And in AI Lab, we are providing sample code so that you can very easily uh, get start and uh, and copy paste uh, the, the the code in your own application if you need. So if you are doing Java uh, and long chain. You will have the, the the application properties. You will have the pom.xml file to add the dependencies to your application, and then you will have the the service to connect directly to 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 the model. So this is fairly uh, fairly uh, making things easier as a developer to to get started. Yeah, I mean, as a developer, I love it when I can have an example code that I can just start hacking on and as opposed to me trying to generate stuff from scratch. So this is awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, it's what you want is really focusing on uh, building around the model. And uh, 
And at some point, you may also need to experiment how you, you are going to communicate with the model and what, what are the different uh, inputs you are going to provide. So we, we, we make this uh, a little bit uh, more simpler by providing a playground environment where you can, uh, you can actually uh, 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 have, uh, have an interface to, uh, to dialogue with uh, the, the model. So here I can ask, uh, tell me the story of Red Hat, for example. And it's, as you, as you are um, probably already familiar with, you will have a chat uh, UI to interface with, uh, to, to, to really interact with the model uh, directly embedded inside of AI Lab. You can also define system prompt. You can tune the different settings for, uh, for the model. And this way you can test the different inputs that you are providing to, to the model. And you can try to also, uh, make sure that the data that you are providing to the model are actually, uh, properly, uh, uh, tailored to the use case that, uh, that you have, and you can really act on the behavior of the model as well. So, Great. yeah. Now, uh, I right, see so you're using the grand model here. What, what happens if I wanted to switch to a different model? Could I use, uh, an Alama or, or one of the Yeah. Models? Yeah. So for this inside of AI lab, you will find a catalog of models which are available out of the box, uh, with, uh, with Podman desktop and the Podman AI lab uh, extension. So basically, uh, you, 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 you have those models that have been created in terms of licenses and, uh, you can download them and then you can start them. So this is pretty handy. So you have a uh, granite, but you have also a uh, mistral, for example, or, uh, a few, uh, a few other ones as well, but you can also, uh, import your own model. So if you have a team of data scientists in house, in your own company that are building model, you can import the model and you can run them, uh, locally as well, as soon as you have a, a DUF file for, uh, for the model. So that's fairly convenient, uh, actually. No, that's, that's really, really, really cool. Um, so basically just using Podman desktop, I don't have to be an AI expert, um, but I could easily start to build an application and, you know, my, my use case, I always think about is, um, going to a web service, you know, right now you have to, you know, do 10 different clicks. It'd be really nice to just have a, uh, like a chat bot where I could ask it a question and it would jump me right to the tool. So if I'm a web developer, I could use a tool like this and, and plug it very quickly into my web application and have a model fired up, um, and ready to service, uh, customers coming in. Yeah, I agree. That's uh, exactly what we are trying to do. It's really focusing on, uh, on this use case as a developer, when you need to integrate a model inside of your, uh, your application, there's best practices, there's new application paradigms that you need to take into account as well. And, uh, AI lab will be here to support you in this journey to give you all the different uh, best practices. Um, we will improve, uh, the tool with additional features that will, uh, help you to figure out how you can do, uh, things like pre-processing, eventually doing rag, uh, as well, but also fine tuning, um, as, uh, Dan showed, shown in the last episode with Instruct Lab, you can really, uh, improve the model to make sure that it's going to answer, um, properly against the specific use case. So we will help you to do that as a developer directly from, uh, from, uh, from the, the UI of, uh, of Podman desktop. All right. So if I wanted to, uh, how do I get, you know, is this something that's coming in the future or can I get this on my, uh, on my PC now? So Podman desktop is available today. Uh, you can find it, uh, by going it on uh, podman desktop.io and podman AI lab is really an extension. So you will find it 
by going into the extension catalog where you can see the different extensions that we are, uh, we are providing uh, for, uh, for the developers. And then once you have it, you will be able to embrace this uh, general journey and start infusing your own application with, uh, with model. You will see uh, you don't need to, to necessarily uh, be a, a data scientist uh, expert or you don't need to be expert with, uh, with the models. Um, it's connecting to an endpoint and uh, as a developer, that's what is, uh, is very powerful. Good. So uh, I don't do things on Macs or, wi or Windows. Uh, can I get access to this on Linux as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it also works on uh, on Linux, so it's available. Uh, we actually do have it here, so you can uh, get uh, get it on uh, as a flat pack, uh, or you can get the, the binary uh, as well, the term GZ. It's also available uh, on FlatHub as well. All right, great. Well, thank you very much for joining us this week, and uh, we'll continue our uh, AI journey over the next few weeks. Uh, thank you, Stevan, for coming, and uh, hope to see everybody next week. Thanks for having me. Thank you.